What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see an example on first order transient circuits and here the question is asking to find out the voltage across this capacitor when we after we open the switch. Now in order to solve this problem we have to know, know some basic stuff. Here we have the equation for the current that is given by C dV over dt and if you remember I is equal to Q by T, you know that Q is equal to CV, you can remember like that, you can make connections like that and also for inductor there's this equation V of T is equal to L DI over DT. Now also we, we, when we do this kind of problems we get the final answer in two different patterns and if you get this pattern and that's equal to zero you have to express the final answer in this pattern and if you get a value like a constant you had to express the final answer like this and the steps to solve this problem is going to be first we find the initial condition and then we flip the switch and redraw the circuit then apply Kirchhoff for two networks with inductor or Kirchhoff's current law if they are a capacitor and then put equation into standard form and then solve now the first step is solve for the initial condition so first of all we have to know so what's what's going to happen when the time is equal to zero Right. So first of all, we think like when time is equal to negative infinity, this uh, this was closed. The switch is closed. So at that time period, what's going to happen is this energy is fully stored in the capacitor. So it's going to act, act like open. Right. When the energy is fully stored, it's going to act like open. It means there's no current flow through this one. So we can just simply eliminate this part. Right. Eliminate this part, and we can find the voltage across this capacitance at initial condition. Now to find this one we had to know what is the capa what is the voltage across this 4k resistor. To find that one we can use a voltage division equation that is V across 4k is going to be equal to we know this is 6 voltage 6 times this 4k over the total resistance that's going to be the addition of these 3 3 ion series so which we can just write them. 3k plus 9k plus 4k and that's going to give us 6 times 4 over 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 4 16 so this is going to be 104 604 3 by 2 so we get 3 by 2 voltage across 4k resistor so this is 3 by 2 and uh, now we can use the curve of voltage law to find out the voltage across this capacitor when the time is 0 so V as 0 is going to be equal to, so we are trying to find V of 0. Let's note that one down. That's going to be, I'm going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. And Kirchhoff's voltage law says addition of all the voltage in a loop is going to be 0. So here we have 6, that's negative 6 because neg minus plus, so negative 6 and 3 by 2 plus uh, V of 0 must be equal to 0. Now from this one we can solve for V of 0. So let's add this together. If I multiply negative 12 over 2 plus 3 that's going to be negative 9 over 2. So V of 0 is going to be positive 9 over 2 if I move to this side. So 9 over 2 that's going to be equal to 4.5 voltage. This is our V of 0 initial condition. right? Now let's see the next steps then we have to flip the switch and redraw the circuit so when we flip this switch what's going to happen so when we open this switch there's no current flow in the middle part right so we can neglect the middle part when the switch is open there's no current flow so we don't have to consider the middle part so we only draw the side parts right here let's redraw to the diagram we are going to have this 3k resistor and then 9k resistor and then we are going to have this ca capacitor that's plus minus 100 microfarad and V of C and then we have this one okay and also we see that when we have this one when we have capacitor we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law right so here we are going to apply, apply Kirchhoff's current law Kirchhoff current law ok 
okay let's start with this capacitor right here so let's uh, write a standard general equation c times capacitance times dv t i'm using this equation current equation because curvature of current law is basically all about current right kcl cvdt dvt over dt plus the total resistance 12 so 1 over 12 we know that uh, i is equal to v over r so voltage over resistance so let's put voltage over resistance total resistance 3 plus 9 that's going to be 12k okay that's equal to 0 now we should try to bring in this standard form pattern in order to solve the final answer right now let's try to bring it in this pattern and we know the capacitance is 100 microfarad micro is 10 to the power of minus 6 so this is going to be 0 0.1 millifarad you can also write 0 0.1 millifarad same thing right millifarad dv by dv of t over dt and here we have v of c of v of ct over 12k okay so one of we can put 1 over 12 k times vct because that's look, look if you write like this it's look more like the standard form right k y of t equal to 0 so definitely we are going to express the final answer in terms of this one since we are getting 0 and uh, let's try to get like a uh, let's try to simplify this one furthermore like 0 0.1 millifarad you can write it on as 0 0.1 over k because if you divide this one by 1000 that is same as multiplying by 10 to the power of minus 3 right same thing so you can put it like that and that's going to be dv by d, d of dv of t over dt uh, i have to separate okay i'm continuing with here dv of t over dt and plus 1 over 12 k v of t equal to 0 now the reason i brought it in this pattern so we can eliminate this k right you can see that here also we have k here also we have k so if we multiply uh, all of them both side by k k multiplied by 0 is not going to change anything but if we multiply this one by k both of the k will cancel also we can divide both of them by 0 0.1 to get rid of this 0 0.1 uh, this constant right here so we just want to get rid of this uh, the first part the we just want to keep it as this one in that way everything is easy right so all you have to do is just multiply this equation by flip of it k over 0 0.1 both side okay k over 0 0.1 both side so from this one we know that this is going to be well, just one so we put dv by dt dv of t over dt and then in this one k cancels and if we divide this one by 0 0.1 that's gonna be like multiply with 12 that's going to give us 1 over 1.2 right 1 over 1.2 and then v of t is equal to 0 now we have brought this one into a standard pattern and if you look at this one it's exactly look like, look like this right so from this one we can see this is this one this is this and k value is this one yeah you can compare right k value is this one so final answer we had to put it like this y of t is equal to uh, a e power minus kd so here the question is vc of t so final answer we are going to write vc of t is going to be equal to a is the initial condition that's what we found right here right that's 4.5 4.5 e power minus k value we figured it out this is our k value right k value that's 1 over 1.2 so negative 1 so we can put also we have a t right here negative t over 1.2 and that's going to be our final answer
I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.